All right, y'all, Pete here with Green Dreams, and I'm on Sand Hill Farm, and I'm right here in that zone one again. And I'm pretty excited because I'm standing next to a jackfruit tree. So I wish I could tell y'all that this was from my farm. I actually got this at the local market this weekend. Um, this is a local, you know, somewhere probably in Homestead jackfruit. But jackfruit is the largest tree-borne fruit in the world. So not only are these trees stunners in the landscape, gorgeous-looking tree, beautiful, beautiful-looking, you know, evergreen leaves on them. These fruits can get up to 180 pounds. So I prefer the jackfruits that are a little bit more in the manageable range, you know, for cleaning and harvesting, and maybe that 20 to 30 pound range. Um, I will say there's a wide range of jackfruits. There's jackfruits that are soft and latexy. There's jackfruits that are crunchy and sweet. Um, probably my favorite fruit here on the farm. And one of the most exciting things about jackfruit, you know, being north of Tampa, really pushing this subtropical edge here with jack jackfruit from seed, this fruit can, and can, this can, this can set fruit from seed in two and a half years. I was getting really excited. I was stumbling on my words there. I mean, that, that's really exciting because typically speaking, like an avocado, a mango, things like that from seed can take eight to 10 years to fruit. That's why those trees are typically found grafted. So there is a little bit of direct grafting that's starting to go on with jackfruit. But that's basically because we found select varieties that taste a little better. They've been selected for those attributes like being crunchy or low latex. Um, I do hear the long run of the trees aren't as you know, sustainable as a tree started from seed. This tree is, you know, two and a half years old. It's set male flowers this year. It does have the potential to set a female flower and set fruit. So just like in my other video with the Japotacaba, the same thing with the jackfruit. It's produced in a way that's called coliferous production. So these fruits will actually come right off of the trunk of the tree. So you're asking yourself like, you know, how does this tree support this big monster fruit? Well, it comes right off of the trunk of the tree like that. They're not out here on the end branches. This out here on the end, that's where you'll find the male flowers. Up here is where you'll have the females and the fruit. So I believe the, the flavor of juicy fruit gum was actually derived from the fruit on this tree. Um, you know, every part of the tree is useful. The, the flowers are edible, the young, the young leaves are edible on the tree. Um, the nuts are edible. You can cook them like a, you know, like a chestnut, make them into like a, for, um, I've heard of them used for the crust for a cake before. Um, it, this is also a fruit that's becoming very popular. And you know, you guys in the Northern climates are like, I'm never gonna be able to grow jackfruit. You might see this in the grocery store. Jackfruit's becoming very, very popular right now, especially with vegetarians, especially with vegans. So you can actually harvest this fruit before it's ripe and eat it at the green stage and marinate it in barbecue sauce and it'll have the same exact texture as pulled pork. So, you know, jackfruit, if y'all are in that tropical edge, you know, plant one from seed. It's worth trying. Beautiful looking tree. Uh, for my fans out there, this is probably not a fruit that I'm gonna be able to ship you as a freebie. Um, maybe a couple of arrows or a seed or somebody wants to try them. Um, but jackfruit, I'm gonna do a slaughtering of a jackfruit video here soon and show y'all what's involved in the cleaning. So like, share, comment. Thank you.